WordPress Gutenberg Editor. What is it, how do you use it, and what's all the fuss about? Well, to start off, Gutenberg is the WordPress default editor that replaced its predecessor, which was the classic editor. Now, the main difference between the two is just their interface. Unlike the classic editor, which was limited to basic text styling and adding images, Gutenberg gives you all the tools you need to build and customize pages right in the editor. I mean, you can drag and drop blocks, style your text, and even add features features like call to action buttons without needing any extra coding skills. Also, the classic editor made full site editing and customization a total hassle and often required coding knowledge or extra plugins to handle tasks that now Gutenberg simplifies completely. But to make your Gutenberg journey even smoother, I'll guide you through all the basics you need to know to get started. All right, so without wasting any more time, let's start with the essentials. First, how to add a new block. Now, there are a few very very easy ways to do this. So when you open the Gutenberg editor and let me do this with you, you'll basically see a title block already waiting for you. Now to add another block, just move your cursor below the title and click the black plus icon to choose from the available options. If you don't see what you need, click browse all to explore more option. You can also use this big blue plus button in the top left corner called the block inserter. So just click on the desired block to add it where your cursor is or drag it to the place between other blocks on your page, wherever you want basically. Now, another quick trick is to type a slash followed by a name of the block you want. So once it pops up, hit enter and it'll be added to your post. So initially, there are six main categories of blocks to choose from. So let's quickly go over all of them. The first category is text. Now, the most common ones are the heading block, which organizes your content and makes it way easier for readers and search engines to follow the flow. And you can also adjust the heading size right here and the paragraph block for editing your regular text. If you are a hosting or client, you'll have the AI content creator block at your disposal. It will help you quickly write anything you need based on your description, saving you a ton of time. Now, next up is media, where you can add images, audio, video, or just files. For example, you can insert an image by uploading it directly or selecting one from your media library. And there are also more dynamic options like the media and text block, which places media and text side by side, or the cover block, which lets you overlay text on images or videos. Now, this one is really, really great for headers or just highlighting important content. And of course, there's the image gallery block, which is perfect for showcasing multiple images in one area and ideal for portfolios or just photography websites. Then we have the design section where you can customize your page with elements like buttons, page breaks, or columns, which is also really great. I'll dive deeper into those in just one moment. But now moving on to widgets. This section includes features like recent posts, a calendar, or search bar, just tools that make it easier for visitors to navigate through your site. The theme section lets you pull in dynamic content such as your site title, logo, or author's name and just place them wherever you want within your page or post. And finally, WordPress's block editor lets you add embedded content, which is when you basically include content from another website, like a YouTube video, let's say. You can paste a URL and the content will appear right on your site. For instance, when I paste this video link, the video pops up and is ready to watch. Now, adding embedded content makes your WordPress site more interesting interesting and way more dynamic than just putting links there. And it can keep visitors on your page for way longer. By the way, if you want to know how you can easily create a personalized WordPress website with AI, check out this video right here. The link as always will be in the description down below as well. And lastly, if you still can't find the block you're specifically looking for, you can search for it by typing the name in the search bar right over here. Now, the block inserter will suggest options from the Gutenberg block directory, which is part of the WordPress plugin repository. For instance, I could install this book review block and later add it to my page just like so. It's super, super simple. 
Okay, now that you know how to actually add different blocks, customizing them is super easy. Just click on any block in the editor and a toolbar will pop up at the top. Now the options in the actual toolbar will change depending on the block you've selected. For instance, with a paragraph block, you'll see options to align text, make it bold or italic, add links, or even include extras like footnotes, highlights, inline images, or subscripts and superscripts, you know, all the generic text stuff. Or if you're working with an image block, you'll get options to align it, apply a duotone effect, crop it, or add a caption. But if you need more customization, and I mean, I'm pretty sure you do need that, you can click the gear icon in the top right corner of the editor to open the settings page panel on the right, right here. Here you can tweak things like the aspect ratio, width, height, or resolution. And if you're an advanced user, this panel also lets you add custom HTML or CSS to really fine tune your designs. But now, moving on, one of the best things about Gutenberg is how easy it is to arrange elements. To move a block, just click on it, find the six dot icon in the toolbar and drag it wherever you want. And if you need to move multiple blocks at once, just hold down the shift key, click on the first block, and then select the others you want to include and move. Once they're grouped, use the six dot icon to drag them all together. I mean, it's really simple and a lot of people think it's harder than it actually is, but it's not that hard, guys. Okay, now let's say you're making a team section for your homepage. You want to include a photo name and let's say a short bio for each team member, all neatly arranged. How do you do that? Well, the best way to do this is by using the group, columns, row, or stack options from the design section in the block inserter. These tools really allow you to nest blocks basically by just putting them together, putting smaller blocks inside a bigger one so your layouts stay tidy and really well organized. Let's take the columns for example. You can choose a pre-made layout like the three columns with three cool splits or set up your own, but I mean the layouts are pretty convenient. Now start adding content to each column by clicking the plus sign and choosing the blocks you need. For example, you could add an image block to each single column followed by a paragraph block for a short description. Once that's all done, you can adjust the layout and alignment using the toolbar or actually the sidebar as well. And by the way, the sidebar you'll see an option called inner blocks, use content width. I suggest turning it on to make sure everything inside the columns lines up with the overall page width, which keeps your designs looking really clean and really polished. You can also select multiple elements and choose the group option from the toolbar to make it way easier to control the layout. And additionally, you can add a spacer block between the elements, which is just a white space for better aesthetic to prevent everything from looking crammed together. I mean, in the minimalistic modern designs, this is actually a very popular practice. And by the way, you can customize this height or make it wider or thinner. Now, moving on, if you ever get bored with the plain white background or decide to use your brand's color scheme, you can change each block's background to any color or even image that you like. Just select the block, go to the sidebar editor and select styles. Then click on the background color and pick the color that you need or paste in a color code. If you want things looking a little bit more funky and fun, try using a gradient color background or even a background image for your block. It's totally up to you. I mean, you can play around with this. Just be careful to not overdo it with too many different colors across all of your blocks as it might look a little bit distracting and chaotic and we definitely don't want that. Speaking of chaotic designs, if you want a more consistent look on your whole website, don't just separate blocks or pages. You can go to full site editing. As I've mentioned with Gutenberg, it's pretty simple. Just go to your WordPress dashboard and pick appearance and then editor. Once you're in there, you can play around with pretty much every part of your site. Let's say you need to rearrange your navigation menus, which you can very easily and simply do by dragging them in any order that you you want. Or maybe let's say you want to update your site's overall style. Well, in that case, you can pick styles and then adjust colors, fonts, and layouts to match your brand from there. For example, you can set your own color palette and that will be used across your whole website to make it really consistent. You can even edit your pages directly in the site editor and no need to jump between screens at all either. You can see both your drafts and published pages right over here and you can even add a new page. 
page. And if you're feeling really creative, you can design custom templates for specific pages like your blog or single posts. While editing a post, you can preview how it fits within the page layout. Just open the post tab on the sidebar and select template, then choose show template. This allows you to see how your content fits within the overall page layout. And just keep in mind that only users with a WordPress block theme can customize blocks in the full site editor. And if you want to use this feature, really consider switching to a block theme such as a 2024 theme, which is really modern and clean and honestly one of my favorite ones. Or there's also the Neve FSC theme, which is perfect for pretty much any kind of site in my opinion. And there are also plenty of other themes like Ona, Trove, and Brixie, and especially Brixie is an ideal option if you need WooCommerce support. But now coming back to the page editor, if you ever feel overwhelmed with the amount of content on your page and all the scrolling through it, you can turn on the list view to see a list of all of your blocks and pages, really convenient. Now to open it, just click the document overview icon, which is these three stacked lines in the top left corner, or use the shortcut, which is shift plus alt plus O. Now, as you can see, it gives you a clear tree-like layout of all the blocks in your page or post. Post. You can also click any block in the list to go straight to it in the editor, which is super handy for jumping around in longer documents with lots of nested blocks in there. Now, right next to the block list view is the outline, which shows your document structure, basically, including headings and their levels. It's also a really quick way to check if your content flows well and if your headings are in order. And the next really super convenient thing I want to show you is the command palette. Now, command palette is like a shortcut wizard for the Gutenberg editor. It lets you quickly perform actions or jump to different parts of the editor without hunting through tons of menus and stuff like that. You can just open it by pressing Control plus K or Command plus K on a Mac, if you're using a Mac, or clicking the bar at the top of the screen. Once it's open, you'll see a search bar and a few handy suggestions like duplicate, delete, or add after. So just start by typing a keyword or letter and it'll show you options that match. For instance, if you want to jump straight to a specific post or page, you can just type its title and you'll be taken right to it, which is super handy and convenient and really speeds up your work. It's also useful for quickly adding a new page or post or entering the distraction-free mode, which is this clean full screen editing view that hides any unnecessary necessary menus and toolbars really helping you focus on writing without any distractions whatsoever. And by the way, if you're finding all of this a bit confusing so far, I really strongly recommend considering Hostinger for your website's hosting because with Hostinger, you get a built-in AI assistant whose name is Cody, who can answer any questions for you at any time. Plus you can create your entire website using AI, which is super cool. So if you're interested in this deal, click the first link in the description below. And also here's a coupon code for an extra 10% off. But now back to Gutenberg. Now, next up, let's talk about mobile optimization. And if you click the laptop icon at the top right, you can switch to mobile view and see how your site would look on a phone. And guys, mobile optimization is extremely crucial for both SEO and user experience because I mean, let's face it, more people are browsing the web from their phones than from their desktop these days. If your site isn't mobile friendly, it'll take longer to load, be harder to navigate, and probably just frustrate a lot of users, and we definitely don't want that to happen. Plus, Google prioritizes mobile friendly websites in search rankings, so if you're not optimized, you could be missing out on just traffic. So before you hit that publish button, always check how your site looks on mobile view. One key thing is to make sure that your text is large enough to read without people actually squinting to try and read it. So if needed, make the text bigger and also ensure that you enable the stack on mobile option for a more organized and clean and clear look. And don't worry because the rest of the editing works the exact same way as the laptop view. 
So I mean, whether you're just starting out or sharpening your skills, the Gutenberg editor is really worth a try as it makes it super easy to create professional looking pages. And I guess I've covered the essentials to really help you get started, I hope. But if there's anything I missed that you think deserves a mention, just please, please let me know in the comments down below so I can cover it in the next video. And also, if you wanna see how easy it actually is to create a WordPress website with just a few clicks and in just a few minutes, definitely check out this video where I show you how to do it with Hostinger's AI WordPress website builder. Now, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.